And now, without further delay, I'd like to bring the man of the hour to the stage, Ben Affleck. Thank you very much. I appreciate that overly kind introduction. It's very kind of you. And uh, I do want to want to thank Amazon in particular, Ken Salky, who really took a chance on, on us and this movie and our security and the way we wanted to do it and believed that Matt and I were capable of, of delivering something in a responsible way that would engage audiences and um, and broadly feelings. I guess we'll find out tonight. <laughs> Um, but it's it's a really meaningful thing to be trusted and believed in, and, uh, and have someone take a chance on you. And I hope we uh, hope we did right by you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sue Kroll, uh, Mike Hopkins, Drew Davenport, Albert Chang, Courtney Glenzi, Michael Chong, all of you for your support. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to uh, thank uh, those admins, David Ellison, Cisco, Don Hung, and uh, maybe it happen. And, and uh, Pete Hoover at Mandalay, you know, there were a lot of people who, who uh, had to be willing to kind of go with this, and, and they did, and, and I appreciate that. Um, I want to thank Simon Carroll, who's in the audience tonight. Yeah, he's part of the band. And I want to thank Howard Wright, also, for his enormous support. Um, and I want to thank Alex Conbury, who wrote the script that started this whole thing. It's a long time. And you see that on the way. Our company, our Nixon company, our cycle uses our first movie, uh, is a, it believes in really assigning value to the artists uh, in front and behind the camera who, who make possible uh, something, you know, for, for the kind of uh, circumstances where something can be created that can move the audience. And uh, we we try to do things in a different way. In, in some ways, the theme of, of what we want to do parallels the story that you'll see tonight. Um, I want to thank Jerry Carr now, Nolan West, you guys for believing in us, and uh, Matt, of course, and MJ, and everyone from our secretary who's here, so Jeff Robinoff. This was really a fascinating, you know, there are too many producers, also for me to remember them all, but they all contributed, and I'm, I'm really grateful. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the crew here tonight, Francois, so our production designer, did it. You'll, you'll be able to see this word. Okay. Um, Billy Goldberg, my longtime partner, who's a brilliant, masterful editor, who's responsible for all the good things in the movie. Um, and, and Charlize, who uh, and uh, Jones, who's the content writer, and also really became much more than that, a creative partner, a really meaningful voice in, in this film, something without whom we, we would not have been able to do it. It's brilliant. I'm really proud to say that she's going to be um, working with us at our secretary, producing the opportunity going forward. I'm really excited about that. Uh, the gender entries the cast. I know it sounds a little bit like a sort of Saturday Night Live sketch of a dream team of actors, you know. Uh, the absurd bounty of this cast was overwhelming, but they were all brilliant and extraordinary. And, you know, my whole life I dreamed, but one day I would really have made it as a director if, if I could have my own days. And one of the brilliance is evident as. You know, Jason Bateman is just extraordinary, so our fourth movie together. Chris uh, Epstein is, is, is amazing. It's our third movie at the bottom. I think you've been living with his work, Matt Mayer. We've also known for 30 years. This is my third movie, but he's brilliant. Um, you know, Chris Tucker, I've been trying to pay with Chris Tucker. So we're going to leave him for 25 years. And he, he played Howard White and he invested himself in a way that was, and really created that role. and. and all of these actors are filmmakers who contributed to writing and creating these roles of, in a very sort of, it was going to just be a terrible underachievement if it was of my voice telling the story. Uh, it needed uh, all of these voices to tell it well. I'm so grateful to all of you that you contributed in that way. It means the world to me. And, you know, um, Julie Pennant, who's, when I asked, I'm sure what his father was like, he said that he had the best personality in the world. I can't think of a better person to play than Julius, who's a magical, wonderful guy. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I had a chance to be really lucky in life to have a, a friend of my dick. I love him. It was a joy to my special life for him. Thank you, man. Uh, 
I hope you give these long thanks because it really doesn't work. It's the last time I'll be up in front of everybody. But uh, I also want to want to say and thank uh, Michael Jordan about you know, obviously he is not in the movie. This is not the Michael Jordan story, but he is in every cell of the movie and above it and inhabiting it. And it is about what he meant to to the world and to us and how inspiring he was. And I want to uh, acknowledge that you know when I went to him and said, hey. You know, this this script came along, and, but you know, I just won't even do it if if, if they have an issue with it. Um, he actually not only he he said like, all oh, right, but he said uh, he made clear to me that you know he wanted others to be included in the story who he got in it, and that, though, that even though I was going to change some things because I couldn't keep every fastidious historical detail accurate and tell a concise movie that also functioned as a kind of fable, really. Um, I was going to have to change things for dramatic reasons, but I wanted to know what was inviolate to him, what could not be changed. And uh, he, he said it, it, it should include George Rabbit, which, by the way, I did not mention Marlon Wayans, who came in also creating a category. And, and how white Chris Tucker embodied and also created that role in, in a brilliant way. And I also talked about not only his mother and father, but his mother, and when he did, it became evident to me who, who the star of this movie really should be, and who the protagonist was. And then I asked him if he had any, any casting suggestions. It has to be Bob Davis. <laughs> so there were a lot of them. Um, so we, we kind of set about trying to, trying to create something that would be worthy of, of Viola and her talent, and worthy of, of Mrs. Jordan, which she meant to Michael clearly, and I think what she's emblematic of, mothers who uh, guide their children, many of it in cases uh, where they find themselves you know, accelerated at a young age into worlds that are hard to navigate. Uh, I don't think you succeed or survive that without, without a powerful mother. I want to thank my mother who loves all my movies, <laughs> even the really bad ones. <laughs> and, um, this has been a joy. I want to just enjoy this this moment for one second. And I want to say that uh, I wouldn't. None of it would be possible. This company, this movie, this joy tonight without the love and support of my wife. Who needs more than me? And even though I love you, I want to say thank you. I love you. You mean the world is me. You're fabulous. You're amazing. You're wonderful. Good, kind, magnificent. And I love you. Thank you.